so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Ha <laughs> Aloha! It's me, Blippi! And look at where I'm at today. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the big island of Hawaii. And this place is awesome because of volcanoes. Today, you and I are gonna learn about volcanoes. Yeah, maybe we'll find out what it looks like after it erupts, or maybe some lava tubes, Ooh, and maybe some steam. All right, are you ready to learn and have some fun? Me too, let's go. Wow. This place is so cool! And I even have a map. But it's kind of confusing on where I'm at. I'm trying to find all those cool things like the lava tubes and the volcano. <laughs> Aloha, Blippi. Oh! Are you lost? Do you need help finding anything? Hey! Whoa! Are you a park ranger? I am a park ranger here. My name's Ranger Aaron. Wow! And yeah, to answer your question, I am lost. I was actually trying to find the lava tubes. Ooh, well, you're in luck. We have Nahuku Lava Tube right down this trail. Do you want to go see it? Yeah, will you show me? Yeah, let's go together. All right. Whoa, great. <laughs> Ranger Aaron, this place is beautiful. I know. I love this hike over here. I would call this a rainforest. We do have areas of rainforest here at Kilauea Volcano. Really? How did the eruption not get rid of all these plants? Well, the thing is, during many volcanic eruptions here, the lava doesn't cover the whole forest. It sometimes, it'll flow around areas and leave a little pocket of forest. We call these kipukas. Kipuka. That's right. These are really important, actually, because kipukas serve as seed banks. Seed banks? What are those? It means they're areas where all of the seeds from our native plants can be saved. And then after an eruption, the wind might blow them, birds might pick them up and drop them on the new lava, and new plants can start to grow. These plants make it possible for the rest of the forest to come back to that area. And eventually, you may not even know there was ever a lava flow there. Wow, that is really cool. But since there's a lot of poisonous gases in the air when volcanoes erupt, how do these plants survive? Well, a lot of our plants here on this island, they had to adapt to survive a volcano such as our Ohia Lehua tree. Look at these giant trees above us. Wow, they these, are big. <laughs> these trees are very important in Hawaiian culture, and they also have some superpowers to help them survive a volcanic eruption. Superpowers? I love superpowers. What do you mean? Well, the Ohia Lehua tree can actually hold its breath during a volcanic eruption for up to two weeks. Oh, that's a long time! Mm -hmm. This is really cool! Can we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go see the lava tube. Oh, cool, let's go! <laughs> wow, what's this? This is the Nahuku lava tube. Lava tube? What does that mean? Well, that means this is a tunnel where lava used to be flowing during an eruption. But sometimes at the end of the eruption, the lava will flow out and leave this empty tunnel behind. And this one we can actually walk through. Oh, cool. That sounds really exciting. Can we walk through it right now? Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> you lead the way. All right. <laughs> oh, pretty dark wow. in here. Yeah, don't worry. There are some lights. All right. <laughs> Whoa, cool. So we have to imagine this is where the lava used to be flowing through many, many years ago. Oh, wow. Well, this is really cool. Oh, and it's getting pretty dark in here. I know. Good thing we've got a few lights to help us see the way. Oh, yeah. Smart. Whoa, cool. Do you mind if I touch the wall? Oh, please don't. This is actually a very unique ecosystem in our park. There are some insects that live here that don't live anywhere else. And if we touch the walls, we could disturb this ecosystem. Okay, if you're ever in a lava tube, don't touch the walls. Whoa! And it's really cool how there's special insects that just live in here. But hey, what's that sound? Yeah, the dripping? Is it raining in here? Actually, volcanic rock is very porous. That means there's lots of little holes and cracks in it. So when it rains, the water can filter down through the rock and eventually it can drip right on top of us. Oh, cool. Well, I guess we'll continue, but we'll try and not get wet. <laughs> right, we should have brought an umbrella. Yeah. Wow, that was really cool. I know, this is one of my favorite places in our national park. Yeah, and you're so smart knowing about those insects and also how the water drops through the rock. 
Well, there are important facts to know to understand how special our volcano is. Yeah, it is very special. Hey, and speaking of volcano, do you mind if we go check it out? Yeah, do you want to go see Hale Mauma'u Crater? Oh, I would love to. That sounds like fun. All right, let's go see our volcano. All right. <laughs> Wow, cool, a volcano! That's right, this is a very special place at the National Park. So whenever I bring students up here, I remind them to keep quiet voices oh. so that we can be respectful, so that everybody can enjoy this part of the National Park. Wow, and why is it so sacred up here? Well, this is known as a vahipana. In Hawaiian, that means a sacred place. In Hawaiian culture, many people believe that this crater, Hale Mauma'u Crater, is the home of Pele Honuamea. Pele is the fire goddess and the goddess of volcanoes, and many people believe that the Hawaiian islands would not be here without Pele. So that's why this is such a sacred and special area in the park. Wow, this is a special place and it's so peaceful. But wait a second, what is a volcano? Well, a volcano is a geologic feature where underneath the Earth's crust, magma chambers can form. Magma is molten rock. So these pockets of molten rock start building up pressure. And eventually, they can build up enough pressure that they actually break through the Earth's crust and lava can erupt out of the Earth's crust. Wow, cool! So does this volcano erupt a bunch of lava? It does. Actually, this volcano is erupting right now. Wait, right now? Why is it not just exploding in air? Well, the Hawaiian volcanoes don't usually have explosive eruptions. The Hawaiian volcanoes have what we call effusive eruptions. So the lava can bubble out and flow, and they also sometimes erupt out of rift zones in the side of the volcano. Oh, that makes sense. So is that the lava down there? Well, that is the lava down there. Once lava cools and turns into rock, it turns black. So we are looking at the cooled lava lake right now. Wow, and when did this eruption start? This current eruption started in September of 2021. Oh, and what did it look like before that time? Well, there was actually a really big change in our volcano before the last big eruption. Before that really big eruption, our volcano, the caldera was more flat. And Hale Mauma'u Crater was very small. It would have just been right over there. But what happened during that eruption? We had that magma chamber underneath the earth and it started to empty because it was erupting out of the side of the volcano. Okay. So eventually all of the lava, all of the magma got out of that chamber and it was just empty. And when it was hollow and empty like that, it couldn't hold the weight of the volcano. So it actually collapsed. Wow. And that's what we can see here. This crater got much, much bigger during that eruption. Wow, that's really cool. So is this the only volcano that you folks have here? Flippy, guess how many volcanoes you can see right now? Um, one? The answer is actually three. We have five volcanoes on our island total, and we can see three of them right here. Do you want to go see the others? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Whoa, so that's the other volcano we can see? Right, that is one of the other volcanoes we can see from right here. That's called Mauna Kea. And one interesting fact is Mauna Kea is so tall, in the wintertime, it can actually get snow. Wait, snow in Hawaii? That's right, I used to teach second grade, and my second graders could go to the top of Mauna Kea, sled down a hill with snow on it, and then go to the beach in the same day. <laughs> wow, that sounds like so much fun. I would love to live here. I love sledding and the beach. <laughs> oh, wait, so you said there's another volcano? All I see is hills. Well, actually, we are going to see Mauna Loa Volcano. And this is a really great example of why they're called shield volcanoes. You see this big hill behind us? Yeah. That is all Mauna Loa. That is all the volcano. Wow. Even though it doesn't look like this, it looks like this, a shield volcano. It's still a volcano. That's right, like a superhero shield laid on its side. <laughs> cool. Wow, do you have any other fun things to see today? Do you want to see some steam vents with steam coming out of the earth? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, let's go see those last. All right. <laughs> Wow, this place is awesome. 
Yeah. Park Ranger Aaron, what is this? This is a steam vent. Oh, a steam vent? What's that? Well, do you remember when we walked through the lava tube, we felt all of those drops of water falling on us? Yeah. Well, something similar happens here. Remember, our, our volcanic rock is so porous. That means there's lots of holes and cracks in it. Right. So when it rains, the rainwater can seep down through the rocks. Okay. Do you remember what's underneath a volcano? Uh, the magma chamber? That's right, all of that <laughs> magma, that super hot molten rock is underneath our volcano. So eventually the water seeps down so far, it gets heated up by the magma, it evaporates and it turns into steam. Wow. The steam can escape from these cracks in the earth just like this. Wow, this has been so much fun learning about volcanoes with you today. You're so knowledgeable. Well, thank you for coming and learning about volcanoes. It's so important that we work together to protect these special places. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> well, I've got to go meet some youth junior rangers over at the visitor center. Wow, cool. All right, bye, Blippi. All right, see you later. Enjoy your visit. All right, have a good day. Wow, Mount Aloha looks so big. And remember how we learned that it looks like a superhero shield laying down flat? Yeah, not all volcanoes look like this. Wow, we learned so much today. We even got to walk through a lava tube and it was so tubular. <laughs> yeah, and those steam vents, so cool. And it was pretty warm too, that steam from all that heat. Wow, and that crater, it was so big and vast. Wow, I sure did love learning about volcanoes with you. But this is the end of this video. If you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job, all right, see you again, Bye bye Wow. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and today we're at Priest Point Park in Olympia, Washington, and I am going on a hike. <laughs> I love hiking because you get to be out in the wilderness. Hey, speaking of hiking, I don't have a hiking stick. Maybe I could find one. Do you see one anywhere? Oh, hey, check it out. This is a perfect hiking stick. Amazing. It's so smooth, there's no bark on it. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna get any slivers with this stick. Wow, and look how unique this stick looks. There's a bunch of knots in it. Yeah, whoa, that's a really cool stick. All right, let's test it out. Ugh, awesome, and it's really strong. <laughs> All right, let's continue hiking. Whoa, whoa, look down here. Look at what we found. Wow, do you see this? These are clam shells. Yeah, do you see them? Whoa, these used to be fully closed, just like this. And there used to be a clam inside. But now there's no clam. Where'd the clam, clam go? Wait a second. Do you see this? This is a clue. These are feathers. Yeah. Look, bird feathers. Wait a second. I wonder if a bird was hanging out right here. Yeah, maybe it was having lunch. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna take one of these two feathers and put it in my bag and I'll show you something really cool later. And one clam shell. All right put it in my bag, and then we'll continue on. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, gotta stay hydrated. Whoa, look at this plant. This plant is a fern. Wow, it's a beautiful plant. It's so cool looking. Oh, hey. It lost one of its limbs. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of leaves are on this. I have an idea. What if we keep this and use it for something really cool later? Let me put it in my bag, just like this. 
and then I'll show you later. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, an old tree. Yeah, this tree used to be vertical and then it fell down. Whoa, and when trees fall down, they decompose and they allow for a great opportunity for insects, yeah, and animals to have a home. Do you see it? Yeah, insects love to eat these type of trees. Yeah, because then it allows for nutrients to go in the ground. Whoa, hey, speaking of bugs, do you see this? Wow, that is a grasshopper. Hello, grasshopper. Hey, I have something really cool in my backpack. I have what are called bugnoculars. Let's see here. Bugnoculars are great to use to see bugs up close. So what we're gonna do is open them up. Here we go. <laughs> and then let the grasshopper jump inside. There you go. Oh, there you go. Just get right in there. Yeah, perfect. Oh, wow. The grasshopper is inside now. So then if I close this up, I can look through the eyepiece. Whoa, and see it really close. Whoa, check it out. Wow. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful little insect. <laughs> okay, we should probably let it back. All right, grasshopper, go ahead. Oh, back to your home you go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put these back and continue on. <laughs> See you later. <sighs> oh, I am getting so tired on my hike. <laughs> when I breathe in, I breathe in oxygen and I breathe out carbon dioxide. In oxygen, out carbon dioxide. But hey, check this out. All these plants and trees and bushes and shrubs, they breathe in carbon dioxide and they breathe out oxygen. They breathe in carbon dioxide and they breathe out oxygen. Isn't that cool? Yeah, we're the opposite of them. We breathe out carbon dioxide, and that's what they breathe in. And then they breathe out oxygen, and we breathe in oxygen. <sighs> yeah, we are a great team. Check it out. Do you see these? These are pine cones. How many pine cones do you see? One, two, three pine cones. Pine cones are so cool looking. Wow. Hey, chipmunks love pine cones because there's little seeds in there that they grab and then they eat. <laughs> pine cone seeds. Okay, I'm gonna put this in my bag for later. Yeah, for that special something that I was telling you about. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. Woo, I spy something really cool. Let me tell you what it is. I spy a half of a tree. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah, a half of a tree. Yeah! Check it out! This used to be a whole tree. Yeah. But now it's just a half of a tree. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's cool. Hey, that was actually really fun. Yeah, I gotta see something. So I say, I spy it, and then you get a look and search and find it. Okay, I'll do another one. I spy 
something red. Do you see it? Oh yeah! Look! Wow! It's a butterfly! A red butterfly. Whoa! Hey red butterfly! How's your day going? <laughs> are you having fun just hanging around? <laughs> Butterflies are so beautiful. Wow. Okay, we'll just let it be. All right. Bye-bye, butterfly. Okay. We should probably get continuing on. <laughs> hey, check it out. I just found a really good tree to climb on. Whoa. Whee. You have to be very careful when you're climbing a tree. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What's that? <gasps> I spy something! <laughs> I spy the beach! Whoa! Whoa! I love the beach! Whoa! I love the sand! Yeah! And I also love the seagulls! Yeah! Wow, I really enjoy hanging out at the beach all day long. <laughs> Whoa, wait a second. What is this? This isn't supposed to be here. This is garbage. Boo, who left this here? I don't even know, I am so mad. This beach is home to so many critters and it is our duty to keep Earth nice and clean. Yeah, would you want your home dirty? No, I sure wouldn't. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you and I clean up the beach? That sounds like fun. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Check it out. I have my garbage sack. Yeah, I'll put all the garbage in here. And then I have <laughs> my garbage grabbers. Yeah, it's like a claw. <laughs> All right, let's pick this piece up. All right, I'm using these grabbers because I definitely don't want to touch this. I have no idea where that was before. All right, <laughs> here we go. Okay, I see a shell that should be there. Oh, this should not be here. This looks like a soda can. Yeah, a pop can. All right, put it in there. Perfect. We collected two pieces of garbage. Wait a second. Here's another one. One, two, three. Our third piece of garbage. There we go. <laughs> I am so happy that we're cleaning up this beach. Here's another. One, two, three, four. The fourth piece of trash is in here. <gasps> two more. One, two, three, four, five. Right here. Yeah, six. We collected six pieces of trash. Good job, but we're not done yet. This beach is so dirty. Here's the last piece. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of trash. Good job. Whoa! That was so much fun cleaning up the beach with you. All right, I'm gonna put this in the trash can. Bye-bye, garbage. <laughs> Good job. Well. I should probably get my hiking stick back so then we can continue to hike. Woohoohoo! Got it. I am now ready. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> that was so much fun today going on a hike with you. We learned so much. We got to learn about plants. We played some search and find. Yeah, I spy. That was a lot of fun. Hey, we even saw some insects. <laughs> yeah, and probably most importantly, we cleaned up the beach. <laughs> Good job. Hey, remember earlier that we found some things? Yeah, we found this fern. Yeah, I'm gonna show you something really cool with it very soon. 
And then we found this shell. Yeah. We found this pine cone. And we found this bird feather. Wow. <laughs> okay, we'll put that right there. Okay, well, this stick used to be a hiking stick that we used all day. That was great. But we're actually going to turn it into what's called a journey stick. Yeah, indigenous people from different countries used to make what's called journey sticks. They would collect things on their hikes and their journeys, and then they would put them on their sticks in chronological order so then they can remember where they've been. So let's do that now. So let's take this big fern, put it right there. I actually have some orange string. Yeah. I'm gonna wrap it around. Okay. Perfect. Doesn't that look good? Whoa, pretty cool, huh? Okay. Wow. This looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a stick with a fern on it. <laughs> okay, what else? Oh yeah, we have the shell. That's gonna be tricky to put on there, but I think we can do it. There it is. You see that? Yeah, this is looking awesome. And then we have this pine cone that I'll put right below that shell, just like that. And then I gotta loop this around so then they'll hold on to it. Ooh, all right, we are almost done. See, we have the fern, the shell, the pine cone, and last but not least, the feather. Okay, I'm gonna put it right up top, right there. See that? <laughs> all right, check it out. How does this look? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. I had so much fun learning with you. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> all right. See you soon. Bye bye. It'll make you wanna shout